back to the audio sound. But I just want to I just want to wrap up two more things on the uh, on on the pulp and the left. Really, totally snarky and beside themselves that the Pope responded to me. Cannot tell you how that frosts them. Um, we just heard Mark Shields just say, well, the Pope welcomes the divorce. He welcomes lesbians and gays. and speaks. The church doctrine on that stuff hasn't changed. I don't care what they want to try to convince themselves. Mark Maxey Shields has to say that to justify his support of time choosing the Pope as man of the year. This guy is anti-abortion, anti-gay marriage, and they are embracing him. I can't, folks, I really, running the risk of of making this about me, which I'm not doing, and I hope you don't think that, because I want to stay focused. What has happened here is really profound. You have the number one figure, statesman, whatever, the, the, the most powerful office in the world that stands for life, stands opposed to gay marriage, and the left has embraced the man. The left has honored the man. Who cares why? It is astounding. And so to make themselves feel comfortable with what they've done here, because they really can't believe it, they have to now tell themselves stories. Well, you know, the Pope is uh, is open-minded about gays and lesbians, and uh, is open-minded about... uh, the divorced and um, the transgendered. No, church doctrine hasn't changed. This is just how they tell themselves this stuff because their their whole world upset. The cocoon has been penetrated. It's leaking, and they're upset. Did you ever think? Did you ever think that the the drive by media led by Time Magazine or anybody would ever honor the Pope or anybody who's pro life? and anti-gay marriage in this climate, and yet they have. And here is a reporter from CNN. This is one of the international correspondent, a guy named Ben Wiedemann. The anchor is Martin Savage, and they're talking about me and my criticism of Pope Francis. And Martin Savage says, look, is Pope Francis being seen by many as a reformer of the Catholic Church? Is he too liberal, Ben? Martin, there's been a lot of talk about Pope Francis and his so-called liberal views, but it's probably a bit more complicated than that. For instance, he's made it quite clear that he's not about to change the church's stance on gay marriage or bringing women into the priesthood or abortion. Instead, he seems to want to refocus the church's attention away from these divisive issues and onto the plight of the poor and the marginalized. Which the Catholic Church does any day, every day, and always has. I know Mark Shields says he's a practicing Catholic, but here, Mr. Wiedemann is exactly right. The Pope, in fact, after this controversy erupted, came out last week and affirmed, he, in, in using my words, he said in no uncertain terms to anybody, if you think that this means the church is going to change an abortion, think again. If you think that we're going to allow women to priest, if you think that we're going to change on on, on gay marriage, think again. He made a point to tell them this. And here is uh, Dan Harris. This is uh, Good Morning America. This is their their discussion about this. Then there was what he wrote in a major Vatican document last month attacking unfettered capitalism as a new tyranny. That provoked conservative radio host Rush Limbaugh to say this. This is just pure Marxism coming out of the mouth of the Pope. The Pope responded, saying Marxist ideology is wrong. Also in the interview, the Pope was asked about the possibility of female cardinals. No, he said, women should be valued, but not clericized. That is another example of how Francis is refusing to change core church teachings on hot-button issues. There you go. Bottom line, they're not changing the doctrine, no matter what the left tries to tell themselves. They're stuck with it now, folks. They're totally stuck with it. 